MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Hello, and welcome to MTD TV. This is our December vodcast. Paul, Joe, welcome. Hi, Colin. Hi, Colin. Thanks for joining me today. Firstly, a couple of things. Joe, birth of baby Macy, congratulations. Oh, thank you. And to your wife, of course. Absolutely. And secondly... You've not um, lost the baby weight yet. <laughs> that's a little bit harsh, first, first couple of minutes of the show. Secondly, after our first show, thank you for all your great feedback. It was really pleasing to hear, so thank you for that. So let's get on with it. What's news? Um, yeah, well, we'll start with, uh, I've got a good story, which um, we actually released on the website on the 11th of December, which was about the autumn statement um, from the Chancellor, which is going to be important to all engineers out there to know that, especially if you're, well, some of the key notes about that um, news article is from an exporting perspective, uh, there's an initiative to spend an extra £45 million to help companies export in 2015, which is good. And in fact, a lot of a, a lot of the uh, autumn statement was to really uh, to help UK business. So um, that that was a good start, good start from me. Also, understanding autumn autumn statement, the uh, tax allowances for research and development have also increased as well. So, Are they? Yep. No, they help helping hand to the engineering there. I mean, we've got the election coming up next year, so you know the middle of next year is going to be an interesting time. But I think they're obviously trying to prep themselves and position themselves to look like they're very supportive of, of UK money. business. Absolutely, yeah. Which hopefully will and hopefully will make a difference for engineers out there. Yeah. Absolutely. What else has been going on? There's the new LB series of machining centres from Dugard. Um, it's a new type of machine tool for Dugard, a new arena. You'd probably associate Dugard with uh, the smaller machines. But these are double column machines. Um, comes as standard as a three axis machine, but they've got the inter interchangeable head. Okay. To make it into a five axis, that's a semi-automatic or a, a manual option. I think it's 8,000 and 10,000 spindles on the machine. As I say, it's a great looking machine. Have a look. Keep t it's a good point, and I also think a good thing to mention about that is they do carry those machines in stock, mm. which is unusual for a okay. machine of that size Absolutely. and capability. You could, you could be talking three or four months lead time, but they're carrying them in stock. On machines, uh, DTS, um, based in Preston, uh, they supply the range of uh, Litz five-axis machines, which is, in fact, is, a, is, pro de is the pro design range in the UK. And they've uh, recently been pushing a new LU800 five-axis machining centre. Now, you got two. You'd like to think that in the market, you've got two types of five-axis machine. You've got one that's really geared for high speed, yep. and one that's geared for heavy-duty machining of more, you know, complex and difficult materials. The LU800 from DTS actually fits right in between uh, the, the pair of those. So it's a, uh, it's basically a heavy duty five axis machine with a high speed spindle as well. So you've got the best of both worlds. Uh, and, and they've been pushing that this year. In fact, we did a video on that as well okay. a few months what ago. What sort of speed are you looking at there then? That will go with uh, 18,000. So you've got an 18,000 option. But you can actually go for, I believe, a BT50 spindle as well, which gives you plenty of torque too. So it's a really nice machine, a big table. There is actually, on, on the news story, I think it's an incredible weight that it can take on the table. Uh, I'm not going to recite it now because I can't remember exactly what it is, but if you look on the news story, it's, it, it, it's, you know, it's a lot more than most five-axis machines. So, Autumn's statement, that was interesting to hear, and also about those two new machines. What other news is there, Joe? Um, Loftlock. They've invested in a U1520 spinner machine from White House Machine Tools. It's actually a five-axis machine, but it's got two tables, so you've got a standard... Um, bed for three axis machining and you've got a two axis knuckle as well both on the same machine so there's obvious advantages there you can five side machine on the five axis and you can do the second operations it might be taking the back off you can do that on the on the fixed table you can also put the um, the five axis in a neutral position if you like and you can use the whole length of the two tables combined you know for larger components and this particular person, this Loftlock, they, they've machined aluminium on it, they've done stainless steels and some quite challenging materials as well, you know, some ink canals and some titaniums. They've done really well with that machine. Yeah. White House, since they've taken on the spinner agency, they're cropping up everywhere. Uh, and and that, that's testament to White House machine tools, but that also demonstrates the quality of the machine as well. Um, Just on that, we've got a video on our website, and it's one of the most successful website um, videos we've ever done, actually, in terms of views and obviously the inquiries that go back to White House. So it's, uh, it's a good video and recommend you watch it. That's actually on the U1520, isn't it? Yeah. Must be the machine. Yeah. yeah. Another one uh, that uh, to note from myself that I picked up on, 
Um, it's quite interesting. WNT, uh, one of our clients, they have uh, they're looking for more applications sales engineers. And when I was reading through the article, um, something that jumped out on me was their current field-based engineers or sales engineers. They've got an existing team of twenty-one, which there aren't many businesses within mm. um, you know cutting tools, tooling that have got actually twenty-one direct sort of sales guys. So I thought that was um, that was good. And looking to take on four engineers. And looking to take on more. So yeah. you know, yeah. I think again that that sort of shows the level of support that they're they're trying to. To, to give their clients in the field. So. Sure, it's a slightly different model, isn't it? Obviously, all their salesmen are really good engineers anyway, but they're actually looking for a salesman with even more of an engineering bias, so add a bit more value to the product. Also, having been out there as well, they're doing that next day delivery as well, which really That's helps. Incredible. Yeah, That's incredible. Absolutely. It's something from Germany. It's something silly like order by six and get it by eight the next day. It's incredible from Germany. Yeah, so it shows good support. Also, another article on the website is about a new product. Well, I say it's a new product. It's not necessarily new, but it's one of our new clients from Measurement Solutions. It's a handy scan, um, hand probing product, and it's great for reverse engineering. I actually was fortunate enough for Ian there to give me a demonstration on the product, and I thought I knew quite a lot about probing and, and measuring. But actually, when, when we got this uh, product and he showed me its capabilities. I was was really really impressed. Okay. Well, two things. I know you know a lot about probing, Paul, but we'll move on from that one. <laughs> but this is just like a, a hand scanner rather than using a, yeah, a I scanning mean, an, arm. And essentially, an engineer is like depending on the tolerances that you're looking to or, or the microns that you're looking to measure to. Mm -hmm. This scanner you can you can put over the top of a component and it will basically scan it, and you can then reverse engineer. Right. So you could almost import that into your CAD CAM system and then you could remachine that component without having to do a long-winded program. Okay. So it's, it's perfect for that sort of scenario. Yeah, I guess so you've, you, you'll get an old component off an old car that might be 50 years old, got no drawings, you're not even sure what it is maybe. You can scan it and, and then you put that into a model so you can use it in Katia, Pro Engineer, something like that, and actually produce a, a program from there. Okay, any other news articles that stand out? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, some some of the things. I mean, on the on my travels, certainly this month, uh, we, I was at Lead Machine Tools um, the other. Well, in fact, last Monday, and they supply the range of Lebwell machining centres. And Lebwell has got a very good name in the market. They sell over the years. They've sold hundreds of Lebwell machines. They've now got a new range, uh, which has basically taken them up a level in terms of specification. So engineers that are looking for high quality machining centres at a very competitive price. Next year in 2015, we're going to be seeing Leadwell really hit the market quite hard with those, and we'll be obviously assisting them in that marketing. In addition to that, they're also launching a range of Y axis and sub spindle lathes, so that should be interesting. Absolutely, so look forward to seeing that then yep. next year. All right, then, guys. Um, well, I suppose moving on now to events. I know you guys are out, out and about around the country. Where have you been the last few weeks? Where have we been, Joe? Where have we been? We've been to we've been all over the show as as per normal. We've been to the Mazak Open House, fabulous open house. Uh, we've done a video on that. There was the the, the new laser machine. Um, which obviously, Mazak historically known for machining, but recent years have taken on the laser arm. We've uh, we've been to the Herco Open House. That was busy. They had the um, supply village there. There was Open Mind, Rommeld, and various other companies there. And the idea of bringing all these companies under one roof for those that short period of time, it's great. That The Mazak Open House, Joe mentions the super turbo range of um, laser cutting machines. They they are really, again, pushing that in 2015. I think you're going to see a lot of activity from Mazak in that arena. Um, they pride themselves on that product, offering the optimum in precision with laser cutting. And they do that by having a machine where the table moves in conjunction with uh, the cutting laser, so it gives them a lot better um, precision cutting. So that Mazak product, the laser product, is that new to them or they're just pushing it a lot more next Well, year? we questioned that when we were there because we, and actually it's not that new to them. The, the laser, laser machines have been available from, from, uh, from Mazak for many years, um, but I think because of the nature of the fact that they've been so successful in other, other arenas, has almost meant that although they they're successful in laser m machine sales, it's never quite been as good as the other side of the business. So I think they're they're addressing that um, whether it needs addressing, but they're really going to be going for the market in 2015 with that. So a lot of events there and joint joint events as well. Any others you can? You've been yeah, well, there was there was um, we we 
uh, we went to the AMRC, and I know we're going to be talking to uh, Mark in a little while, so he'll probably touch more on that. Um, we also went to the WNT and the XYZ Open House, or the XYZX Demo Open House, which was a, which was a busy show. And we learned a lot about the Dragon Skin product and uh, the various things that WNT can offer. And also got to see some of the machines that we've done videos on recently, the, op, the uh, two op machining center from XYZ. And actually those shows from XYZ are really geared towards pushing the X demo machines. If you want a deal, that's where you go to get one, mm, isn't absolutely. it? You bought one, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. But you could get one of those in the back of my car, actually. There's Op2. Two, two well, was it the two-up ones? That's one on the pallet truck, which, we see, right, yeah. which we see you dragging around the uh, warehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know he was supposed to be moving it, but... <laughs> yeah. How are you going to get that in your Range Rover? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's, down, he's downgraded the Range Rover now, have you? <laughs> okay. So, events you've been to, what events you've got come up and coming? There is a few, isn't there? Yeah, it's good. There's an auto sport in January. So for you, you, you petrol heads, go there. There's obviously the engineering side to that show. Uh, there's Open Mind, XYZ, Mazak, and, and many, many other clients are going to be there. RK International, a uh, good client of ours. They are very big into supplying machinery into the educational sector. And the Techn Lee Technical College down in Kent is actually holding an open day in conjunction with RK International on the 14th of January. There will be a, fu a, com a full complement of Colchester machines there. If you're geographically within that area, it's, it's a good show to go and see and learn what's happening in the education arena. Um, so that's on. Uh, there's also... We talk about laser cutting machines. Trump have an open house coming up in March. It might seem like it's two or three months away, but actually by the time we get into the new year, that's going to creep up on us. So that's in March. And Trump open houses are always great value for a visit. It's a fantastic showroom. Mm -hmm. They've got some fantastic technology, so it's well worth it. Fantastic worth food as well. I was going to say, wait for Joe to pop up on that one. <laughs> trust you to. <laughs> just, on, just on that in March, engineering technology group have got an open house. It's the first one I've done for a while, actually, isn't it? But I know they've got high expectations of it. They're putting a lot of resource into it, so it will be good. Obviously, the home to Fila, Nakamura, Bridgeport, and many, many others. Gotcha. And, and that business is, is, is growing very quickly. And I was talking to Martin Dahl the other day, who's the uh, sales director there. Yep. And uh, he's got some very big plans in 2015. And I know we're going to be integral in helping him with that open house and I think there's lots of development going on with their showroom um, so so yeah that's up and coming in the uh, okay next and year. actually talking of events I need to uh, go back to one event you haven't mentioned which is the MTD Christmas party I'll say no more on the subject apart from if Paul ever offers you a lift home <laughs> don't take it because he didn't he left me stranded so public transport thank you very much I can honestly say I looked and smelt like I'd been dug up so uh, <laughs> On the plus side, I managed to sell three copies of The Big Issue <laughs> and I got £1.58 put in my coffee cup. Anyway, moving on. Thanks for that, Paul. I will remember that for a little while to get. You like public transport, don't you? No, I hate it. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, moving on, gentlemen, as we should do. Subcontract engineers. I know you like, you go out and visit a lot of them, view the machines they've purchased recently. Um, I know I was lucky enough to join you at Rod Rodford Engineering and also I was, and I won't blow my own trumpet on this, but Dennis Wick. Now that is a very bad gag, <laughs> but if you see the video, you hopefully you'll get it. Yeah. So where else you been? Uh, yeah, well, you mentioned two there, absolutely classic examples of really good machining environments. The Rodford Engineering, uh, a really good company on behalf of CMZ who've supplied uh, two turning centres there recently. Probably the key features of that is that the CMZ turning centre that they supplied there, or one of them, has 12,000 RPM on the driven tools on the turret, which when I turned up, I was like, wow, 12,000 RPM, because you would, you would normally only think of a machining centre with 12,000 RPM. But this is a turret on a turning centre that's got 12,000 RPM, and it meant that a lot of the components he was doing or he'd taken from another machine and put on his turning centre from CMZ saved over 30% of the cycle time. Okay, just because that speed? Just because of the speed of the milling okay. on, on the turning which, you know, when you consider the quantities of components he was doing, uh, it was a really good endorsement for CMZ. Coupled with that, the Dennis Wick, yeah, very good on the trumpet <laughs> stuff, but they were, yeah. as you saw, making some lovely components. And yeah, that they had nothing but great things to say about their CMZ machine, how they were, you know, getting great surface finishes. Uh, and that was all down to not only just the machine, but the work holding that they were using as well. Absolutely. Okay, what about yourself, Joe? I've been to Rico in Telford, they were a big Romy user. They've done a really good job in their Romy. They used to use a well-known machine tool company. Mm -hmm. um, and for whatever reason, they've gone across to Romy. 
Uh, they've got an AP1000, which is a top of the range machining centre, high precision, and they're doing components on there in one hit that they used to have to take off and do second operations, so deburring and grinding and things like that. They actually do on the machine now. It's a high, high end machine. So it's again, greatly reducing those cycle times. Absolutely, reduced operator invention, tack times, all sorts really, but they're having great success. They've also got another thousand machine there and a Romy Teach Lathe, but really good endorsement of that business. Excellent, okay. I mustn't forget to mention as well, another great installation we went to, or an, a, a subcontract engineer we went to is Protocon Engineering in, in South End. Um, I remember Protocon from the days when I used to be selling machine tools and I used to bash on the door, could never get in there. <laughs> but fortunately we were invited in, uh, in there from them, but on behalf of Fanuc. And uh, you walk in there and there's just a bank of FANUC machines. They've got lots of robo drills and they've also recently embraced their EDM solutions. So they've bought EDM machines as well. But they have one of the latest high torque FANUC machining centers. Okay. And that has got a high torque spindle. So it's got plenty of power, but it's also got 24,000 RPM on the spindle. And that particular machine, similar to the Rodford Engineering example, is responsible for reducing their cycle times on some of their components by more than 30%. Okay. So that's a really good, um, really good uh, engineer. And there's a video that we've done on that as Again, well. Again, watch a video. So those are the videos you've done, you've been, been out and about. What ones have you got planned over the next few weeks? Um, NMB in Coventry. Okay. We're going there on behalf of DTS to review a Corian machine. I've actually been there, similar to Paul, I've been there in a different lifetime. It's a good company and it's going to make a good video. Didn't they kick you out? <laughs> no, I couldn't get in. <laughs> no, and BCW and Blackburn. We're also going there for Ward High Tech. Yeah, and uh, there's there's also, in fact, January the diary is is is, is stacking up already. But uh, we are going to uh, Lux for cylinders. They have a, a robotic loading um, cell which is using Heimbook work holding. So we're, we're visiting them on behalf of Heimbook. It's quite impressive, but I've not seen it, mm -hmm. but um, there'll be a write-up and a video on that in, in, in January. Uh, we're also going to uh, Empire, uh, which is on behalf of CMZ as well in January, and they are a, a production outfit. Um, so they're just a couple of the engineers that we'll be visiting next Scotland. Month. Yes, up to Scotland. We're going to Scotland on behalf of CMZ to remember your passport. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got one. And your whiskey. <laughs> and your kilt. No, please don't. Please God, don't do that. All right, guys. So again, busy diary. Yes. Right. I know we're all well aware. Coming up to the end of the year, products, promotions. What deals are out there at the moment? It's if you look at the Mill CNC website in particular, there's many, many machines on there at the moment. Special offers: five axis machines, multi axis turning centres. In, in fact, it's that time of year, isn't it? You know, Santa's come in, he wants to bring you a bargain. Yeah. yeah. You know, Haas are the same, very, very similar. Yeah, well, I mean, I've, I've got a, a list here and there, there is, you know, um, we mentioned WNT earlier, but we were at WNT and they've got their special offers catalogue, which is out now. And that's for December running through the next quarter. Mm -hmm. And there's some interesting deals in there. So uh, White House Machine Tools, they've got a an ex-demonstration Brother Machining Centre, which is an S700. Um, that is a compact, high-speed machining centre. It's one of the latest um, advancements in technology from Brother in terms of speed. In fact, we did a video on that earlier in the Speedio. year, didn't we? Speedio, exactly, yeah. And it's got a, a rotary trunnion table on it, and the whole thing comes complete as a package, and it's offered ex-demo. That's in stock, obviously. That's in stock. I won't be there long, will it? <coughs> no. And Haas are also running an ex-demo sale throughout the whole of December. Um, so... That I mean, I looked, uh, they sent us, in fact, details the other day of machining centres, turning centres, and in fact, we had three or four inquiries through our website yesterday for those machines. So there's an ex-demo sale on from Hassel. So a lot of ex-demos, obviously, at the end, end of yep. the month. Joe? Like you say, there's loads and loads and loads. Have a look at the website. But um, Tame Engineering, Tame Work Holding, they've got a bar puller on offer at the moment. So if you haven't got room for a bar feed, or maybe you don't actually do a lot of bar feed work and you just need to do the odd job, Bar puller might be the way to go. But the, the bar pullers are actually a really good product um, to have. I mean, often a bar feed is too big. You know, you got, you've got issues with footprint. A bar puller can sit in the turret, pick the bar out, and pull it out rather than the bar feed, which pushes it. So it's a, it's an effective bit of kit. Kerf have also got. I was up there with Dan the other week. They've got three. They've got a new showroom, a lovely new facility. They've got three X demo CO2 machines, which they're looking to um, sell this side of Christmas. And one that we did a video on, the XYZ TC400 two-axis CNC lathes. 
they are on special offer at the moment. Or there are lots of machines that they have that they're looking to push, and that TC400 is, is, is a key one. Sure. Okay. Right, now, I said that Mark was going to join us today. So I know he's been out and about on his travels around the country. So over to Mark. Where have you been this month? Thanks, Colin. Uh, yeah, firstly, uh, MAC 2016 press conference. Uh, kindly invited uh, by the MTA uh, to Brooklyn, to the racetrack uh, down in Surrey near the uh, Mercedes World. That's fantastic. Very, very strong numbers. They've got over 17,000 square metres actually uh, committed to, which is 15% up on sales two years ago in reference to 2014 MAC. So it just shows how strong the manufacturing sector is at present. Right, so Mac continues to grow and sounds like a fantastic day out and we'll see people there in 2016, which again sounds like a long way ahead, but coming up on us soon. So, Mark, where else have you been? With regards to, uh, you know, what, what really got me going in reference to an open house, it was very much WNT XYZ open house. Uh, speaking with the uh, MD, uh, Tony Pennington, uh, Tony's a keen cyclist himself and they work with Hope Engineering, which hopefully we're looking to do a, a video in the future on. Uh, but basically their tooling actually helps manufacture bikes, but actually Tony and his team are actually offering opportunities for customers to actually ride the bikes. So that's something a little bit different. Right, yeah, I know Tony's a very keen cyclist and I've actually seen a bike which is very impressive. Yeah, the other place uh, that uh, viewers will see, because we've got some fantastic videos coming up, uh, the AMRC and AMRC Nuclear. Uh, we was invited by uh, Starag um, to actually film some of their machines. It's a fantastic facility up there. Um, with that in mind, uh, they've got one huge machine, a Doris Conument, and it's a VTL and uh, it holds over 300 tonnes of weight. And um, to be fair, it must be some 20 feet high and 20 feet deep. It's a huge machine, very, very tasty indeed. Okay, sounds like an absolute beat of a machine, but uh, more concern, Mark, is uh, a nuclear facility with your record, how on earth did you get in there? Well, uh, I used my get out jail card actually. Uh, Keith Ridgeway, who's one of the co-founders. Co um, Keith, I've known for some eight years. And uh, we, there's him and us actually interviewing. Very, very good interview indeed in my personal view. I actually first met Keith uh, some eight years ago when he was commissioning his first Starag machine. Um, and uh, since then, he's been awarded the CBE. So congratulations to you. Um, really, really impressive, that is. Excellent, and congratulations, Keith. Now, I know you've been out and about and very busy. What clients have you taken on over the last few weeks? It's been a bumper month, Colin. Uh, you know, as a team, we've uh, brought on a number of new clients uh, this month. We've got Starag Group, uh, DMG Mori, uh, Zola UK, uh, Car Machine Tools, which sell uh, other machines, but WFL they're very famous for, uh, Comet UK, which do a range of tooling, and uh, a very, very new one, as from yesterday, Mitatoy UK, which is gonna be growing our metrology side of our site, so it offers engineers a lot more opportunity of choice of products. And I can say there's probably half a dozen customers which you will see coming on board as from January. Okay, thanks for that, Mark. Give us an insight in what you've been up to. Now, another key thing for MTD is the videos, so guys, what you been up to? Um, two of my personal favourites, uh, the two op from XYZ, where you've got Paul running around the shop floor with a pump truck. That was heavy. <laughs> yeah, I bet it was, yeah. For you it might have been, Paul, yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's a small, compact BT30 machining centre. And I guess it's not the machine for you if you're going to be doing thousands of parts, which is predominantly milling. Mm -hmm. it's, it's designed for to be put next to a turning centre predominantly, so you'll turn it. And you'll just, if a few holes to be drilled or a bit of milling, you'll put it, the two up next to that turning centre. Uh, and you'll com you complete the component there. It reduces, you know, your tack time. It, it, it's good. It really is a good machine. Okay, rather than having a trap all the way across the warehouse, it's right next to you. Exactly. You can have it, you know, a foot away from your machine. One operator's running two machines. You haven't got the labour cost. They say you haven't got, you're not going to make work in progress. So the, the important thing is that guy is finishing, or lady, is going to complete that component. Okay. Um, the, we, we paid a visit to Haas in Leicester and one of the new machines or the new models that, that uh, Haas have been pushing in this last quarter of this year is their five axis machine. The UMC 750 machine is a machine we reviewed and I have to say it, it really does tick a lot of boxes. If you're looking for a five axis machine, it's got a very small footprint. Um, it's got 
a lot of capability in terms of um, its rigidity and certainly when you're looking to load parts is very open access at the top and also at the bottom of the machine. Um, but plus, in addition to that, with their control, one of the things that um, a lot of engineers like about Heidenhain controls is something called cycle 19. And that's when you can program a component from the point of a component on a machine rather than actually uh, a fixed point on the machine. So you can program, put the component anywhere and program from the center of that. Okay. Haas actually have that within their control, a similar type of feature. So a question engineers might often ask is, you know, can I can I do similar to what a Cycle 19 does on Heidenheim? Well, actually, with this new Haas 5-axis machine in centre, you can. That coupled with a high-power spindle uh, and a very, very competitive price tag is um, was a good video. Okay. Um, Microlock, fabulous product, isn't it, Microlock? Over a one-metre span, it runs within 10 microns. That's maximum. Quite often, it's much, you know, much more accurate than 10 microns over a metre. But I know they've got some X stock as well at the moment, which is quite rare for Microlock. Um, they've got some Series 75, Kit 75 in stock. Um, but it's, it's a really good system, especially for horizontals. We, we actually said when we were there, that's an undersold product. It's Absolutely. very popular. There is lots of it in the market. It's been sold um, you know, over the years to lots of engineering companies. But there is no reason why that product shouldn't be in every subcontract machine shop. Absolutely no reason, because it is. it really does, um, you know, does lend itself to flexibility. A couple more videos I just want to mention. We did. Uh, we went to Cube Precision and we did a review of the DCX42, which is a new machine from Herco. And that is a double column machine. It's the largest machine they have in their range and it's the first installation in, in the UK, or the first installation in the world, in the world yeah. of that machine. Yeah. And it really was uh, good to interview David Waghorn, who's the managing director at Herco, get some information on the technical capabilities of the machine and actually see it in action. Okay, what's the stroke on it, for example? It's 4.2 meters in the X, and it's about 2.7 in the Y. Oh, yeah. So it's the, the, you know, I mean, the component that we that you'll see if you watch the video is 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 a, is a basically a large tool, and it's it's being machined uh, almost. It's almost two meters by two meters in size. So it's a, a very big component. Um, and then another engineering company I want to mention is Walker AEC. We went to that company down. In fact, you were with us that Absolutely, day. Absolutely, yep. Um, and uh, we interviewed them there. And it's a machine shop full of Huachons and Dali machines from Ward High Tech. Um, you remember the boring bar they had there, that huge Samvik boring bar, and some of the, you know, the, the depth. I'd say it was very interesting, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. It, it, they were drilling to depths of either. It might have even been a meter and a half, two meters with this boring bar. And you look at uh, the accuracies that they were achieving using this in terms of the, the tolerances, and it was quite phenomenal. So that's a good video yeah. to watch as well. Okay. O on that boring bar, normally when you go that deep in a component, you get chatter, yep. and the size of re re reduces as you're going in. But with that bar, no, it's perfect surface finish and size. Okay. So where can, where can you buy them from? Turner Tools. Oh, Turner Tools. There you go. Absolutely. So, guys, Product a Christmas. lot of videos. And as we know, the videos are all on the MTD website. That is a nice little segue into uh, what's been going on the website in terms of performance this month. Another great month. Um, we've had 24,832 viewers to the website. Thank Visitors you. or viewers. Is there a difference? I'm not sure. Yeah. Is there? Sorry oh, to interject. Guys, come on. Carry on. <laughs> but thank you to all those anyway. We've had nearly 20,000 YouTube viewers okay. who have viewed our videos, which is fabulous, a growing part of our business. Mm -hmm. um, Twitter, we're up to six, well, over 6,000 followers now, and they're starting to engage with it a lot more. You know, two years ago, we might have had 2,000 followers, but in truth, not really engaging. Whereas now, 6,000, but they're all engaging with us. Nice little tweet Did we, from Unilave the other day as an example of that. We were at the AMRC in Sheffield, and uh, we and Ian had parked the van spuriously up, up on a curb, <laughs> and appearing on our Twitter feed is uh, from Unilave, who's a big engineering company in Stoke. These guys are great at marketing but not great at parking. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. But that's the sort, but that, that, you know, there is that engagement there. Absolutely. And that's, that's, it, it's obviously part of, um, you know, part of what we do is the marketing. Joe mentioned the, the visitors. We're seeing now when we're talking about visitors actually combining the two. So we're almost saying, well, you know, it's not 24, 25, 26,000 these with this many YouTube. It's actually collectively around about 40,000 people right. to to our website, reach. Uh, yeah, 40,000 reach, which so is... a real phenomenal number then, really. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Absolutely. Right. Well, that is absolutely brilliant. Guys, give me a lot of insight into news, events, etc. 
Thanks for that. That's it for this vodcast. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.